All right, here we're going to look at an example of finding the greatest common factor of 24, 32, and 72. And to find the greatest common factor, what I do is just find, one way to do it is to find uh, the prime factorization of each number. So let's see, to get the prime numbers that make up 24, we could say, well, 24 is 2 times 12. I can break 12 down a little bit further as 2 times 6. And well, then I can, you know, break 6 down a little bit further as 2 times 3. And now all of these are prime numbers. Okay, so it says we can write 24 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or we can write it as 2 to the 3rd times 3. So that's one thing I'm going to come back to in a second. Okay, so let me box that in. I'm going to do the same thing for 32. Well, we could write 32 as 2 times 16. 16 we can write as 4 times 4. And then each 4 we can write that as 2 times 2. Okay, so now if I take... Uh, the bottom of each little branch here, I would have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the 5th. So 32 is going to be 2 to the 5th power, so we'll remember that as well. And now I'm going to do the same thing for 72. Well, that's 2 times 36. I can write 36 as 6 times 6. And again, I can write 6 as 2 times 3, 2 times 3. So that says we can write 72 as 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. Well, again, we can write this in any order we want. So we really have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the third power. And then we have 3 times 3, which is, well, 3 to the second power. Okay, so... Let's summarize here. We said that 24, 24 we said was 2 to the 3rd times 3. We had 32, which we said was 2 to the 5th power. And then we had 72, which we said was 2 to the 3rd times 3 squared. All right, so what do we do now? What we do now, what we can do now is... We look at um, basically everything that's in common, okay? So notice our first number has a 2 to the 3rd power. Um, we've got a 2 to the 5th power and a 2 to the 3rd power. They all have a 2 in common. That means we can factor a 2 out of each one of these numbers. Um, but we could actually factor it out to the 3rd power. We take the smallest exponent, okay? And then the next thing I look at is, well, there's a 3... There's a 3 squared in the, our, our number 72, but there's no 3 in the 32. So we can't factor a 3 out of all of these numbers. The only thing we factored out, therefore, was 2 to the 3rd, and this is going to be our greatest common factor. And 2 to the 3rd, again, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to give us 8. So it says the largest uh, you know, whole number that will divide into 24, 32, and 72 is going to be the number 8.